Introducing the Time Tracking Radar Clock, designed and developed by Martin Stone. The Time Tracking Radar Clock is an Arduino Mega 2560 based LED panel clock that makes extensive use of Adafruit's graphics and matrix panel lives. On the back there's the alarm buzzer, the adjust button, and the select option button. Starting in setup is easy. Once the clock is powered up, uh, you get a version and uh, it'll ask you to set up the date and the time. It's Friday, January the 16th, 2015. It's 8.41 p.m. in the evening. We're going to set the alarm for 9 o'clock in the morning. And here we go. Uh, around the outer ring is the seconds. The yellow bar is the minutes, and the red plus sign is the hours. Uh, there's a blue um, uh, marker that's uh, near the red marker. That's for the 9 o'clock alarm, and at the top is the uh, minutes for the 9 o'clock alarm. Restoring or changing the clock's configuration settings is very easy. While the clock's in operation, you depress the button for 5 beeps it'll ask if you want to restore the uh, configuration no uh, you can determine whether you want the alarm on or off you can set the snooze from 5 minutes to 15 minutes and you can get a snooze limit of 1 to 3 you can also set whether or not it's a constant or pulse alarm you can get um, a 12 or a 24 hour clock display. You can get uh, American or European date format. And you can determine whether or not you want uh, daylight savings time uh, to be automatic. And if so, you get a selection of months and uh, which Sunday of the month. If you select uh, the fifth Sunday of the month, regardless, you will always get the last Sunday of the month, even if there are no, uh, there are only four Sundays in the month. If you select five, you'll always get the last. You can also set the standard uh, time uh, when it goes back. And um, this clock provides a, a automatic uh, uh, adjustment to, uh, to the time based on daylight savings. Uh, you can set the alarm, clock, uh, alarm from clock mode by depressing the option select button for two beeps and you'll get a response back. You can set it on or off or any hour, any time, any minute. Uh, we can change the date while in clock mode by depressing the option select button for three beeps and you'll get a response back for one beep. So again, from the clock mode, you can set the month and, of course, the day. Adjusting the clock accuracy can be done while depressing the option select button for four beeps. This will allow you to select the microsecond delay for the sweep of the radar. In this case, we're using a microsecond sweep of 2301. It can be adjusted from a high of 2310 all the way down to 2290 to make the clock run faster or slower.
all off clock functions, uh, the clock goes back to its regular time except for the set time function. This is a long alarm and snooze demonstration, so it's going to take a while. We're going to change the alarm to be very close to the current time. So we've got the alarm set for 8.45 p.m. It's 8.44 p.m., uh, about 50, uh, 58 seconds, 59. There we go. The markers change color when the alarm is engaged. Depressing the adjust button uh, for one beep. Uh, sets the snooze out for one period. For two beeps, it would be for two periods. Three beeps would be three periods. We'll go ahead and get it through the snooze period. You'll notice that at the bottom of every minute you get a, uh, a day date display and at the top of every minute uh, you get the time. Now we're just going to go ahead and let the uh, alarm go for the full minute here just so you can see what happens when uh, you don't use the snooze. Um, the original hour that was set time uh, it'll go back to its original time. So as you can see, the alarm's gone back to the original setting of 845. So let's put things back to where they were and run the clock. So first we're going to reset the alarm. We'll put it back to uh, in the morning. We'll make it 8 o'clock this time. Now let's set the time back, because we've been playing around with that. So there we are. That's the current time. Now when the alarm is, uh, it's at 8 o'clock, but it's 8 o'clock in the morning, so uh, the alarm marker, the red alarm marker over the alarm spot, uh, alarm setting just shows up that way. Uh, but when it's activated, it'll be green, both that and the minute marker up at the top.
there are additional features that uh, hopefully will be implemented. Some uh, temperature compensation for uh, t clock accuracy features, uh, along with the ability to dim the display at a particular time and restore it at a particular time. Um, uh, we're going to add, uh, there'll be some additional options added in for sound effects uh, as well. Um, but uh, at this point, this is a, a pretty decent um, version of a, a time tracking radar clock, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.